So we got um, tile installed where we used to have really nice shag carpet. And we have a wooden frame bed. It's a cow king bed and it's pretty big. And what was going on was that every time um, we move the bed, these vertical uh, pieces that are supporting the box springs and of course the whole bed were moving all kinds of ways, you know, this way and this way and this way. And um, so every time we moved the bed or adjusted the mattress or put on sheets, these things were getting out of place and uh, just not doing their job. So um, what I did was um, put down a piece of one by five along this base bracketed together a little splice here because it wasn't quite long enough so I just used two pieces of wood that I already had and I had a 2x4 up in the rafters in the garage and uh, I used that and um, so what I did was I um, uh, you know put a couple of nice uh, you know deck screws down here in uh, from this piece of 1x4 all along you know uh, had a my wife helped me and um, we cinched this up real good here and then um, put a couple of screws here um, there these are held in place originally by uh, just a regular T nut and they did have actually one of these here you can still see it um, they had little feet that were T nutted into the bottom of these pieces of 2x2 two two here uh, and they weren't even touching anymore after the carpet was gone and um, just they were just really flimsy here, not doing nothing anyway. I think I had some of those uh, like uh, uh, furniture leg pads underneath these anyhow. Um, so I took all that off and got these guys uh, secured up in here. So they weren't going to move this way or that, but <clears throat> I was actually really, really um, uh, interested in making sure that the bottom didn't move. So what I did is I just went to the big box store and got some of these brackets and I will put the the model of this bracket in the um, in the notes there. These are Simpson strong tie brackets. These are not shelf brackets. These are you know structurally rated brackets. Um, and these are just held in place here. These are just self tapping pan head screws. And then um, for this I actually used the, the nice big thick deck screws. So I, um, I let this, uh, you know, once I had this part assembled here, like the 2x4, the 2x2, and, and um, the 1x4 all assembled, I let it sit and just see how things were going. And um, so I wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of a crown up here. And so um, I butted the brackets up to this vertical piece of 2x2 here. And just kind of, you know, before I installed these screws from the bracket into the 2x2, two two, um, I just kind of, you know, made sure that there was a little bit of a crown up crown here on the piece of 1x4 so that when the, the box springs and the mattress, uh, and of course our body weight was on it, <clears throat> it would compress down to just about level or whatever. I didn't go crazy. I mean, it just just bumped it up a little bit. But the number of screws in here, um, you can see that these are just totally, uh, <clears throat> you know, hanging on this bracket here, which is fine. I mean, these are um, just, I don't know the engineering on it, but it's going to be, you know, just think about it with four uh, screws um, in here. And all of this was pre-drilled too, by the way. So I pre in a situation like this, I pre-drill every hole except for these pan head screws here. These are self-tapping pan head screws, and this is not going anywhere. I got two, and you know, two or three in these, and it's that's not going to move. So the whole bed can be uh, moved, and um, <clears throat> it just is solid. And once I got all this done, and I had this whole situation installed, um, put the bed back together, obviously, and it's just so uh, solid, and and um, it just feels it feels different I mean the, the the frame and everything is it's completely more solid and stable feeling and quieter um, it was a pretty quiet frame for a wooden frame to begin with but once I got all this done man it really really helped and um, we can 
turn the bed and do all kinds of stuff now and it's not going anywhere it's been a while since I've done this and just a beautiful thing um, I did cut this back over here so the dust ruffle um, hangs over the edge of that piece of 2x4 um, and I did not connect it actually to the frame here I could I suppose if I wanted to but right now I don't need to so why would I um, this is just one of those things if I needed to take the bed apart then I would just take the screws that are on this side of this piece of 1x4 down into the frame I would just take those out and I could lift this whole assembly all out it really doesn't weigh that much it's just you know four pieces of 1x4 or 2x4 and all this gear that you see here but um, that was the way I really made this wooden bed frame a lot more stable and, and it holds together when you move it it's just such a pain in the butt um, we kind of took it for granted that everything was going to be okay once we took the carpet out, but um, I learned pretty quickly that I needed to do a little bit of a modification here.